this video, I'm going to show you uh, basic operations with the COM3D. And the first thing we're going to look at is, uh, well, we have an image here with a COM3D applied. And if I go to my Avil monitor here, you can see that uh, the COM3D is reading that single input as layer 1. Which means that anything that I do on layer 1 is... Uh, uh, going to be translated in the parameters and you can freely transform this as soon as you just click and Move around you can see there that position X and Y is changing in the parameters panel um, <clears throat> If you want to change the size you can change the size proportionately just by pressing uh, control and you can see there that there you're manipulating size X size Y and size Z. Um, if on the other hand you want to rotate you just have to press the ALT button and having the ALT button hold you can rotate um, the clip. At the bottom you have different uh, options to uh, constrain the movement so for example what if we just wanted to rotate in the y-axis I would constrain X and Z so now I'll press alt and start doing some rotation in the y-axis as you can see there okay so you could really uh, define how you want to work by uh, changing um, the display options and the constraints and the manipulation options that you have here at the bottom. I'm gonna uh, take uh, this off and I'm gonna uh, reset the rotation. Remember that anything you want to reset in the parameters panel you just have to select it. In this case if you want to select multiple remember you could do it with shift and then just press delete and it will take it to its default values. What if we um, uh, want to add a second layer. What do we have to do? Well, let's go first of all back to uh, The timeline and in the timeline I have this second shot which I'm going to move and place it just underneath the com 3D I'm going to select uh, the whole stack and align them because I need them to be aligned and first thing that uh, we can have a look at is that the COM3D right now the range of the COM3D is only getting hold of uh, the first clip so if I double click on the COM3D and go to the eval tree here and um, see uh, what is comped right now uh, we could see that uh, still it only reads uh, the first clip as layer 1 the reason is because we do not have the range correctly set. So first thing we have to do is extend the range so now it gets hold of everything. So now I double click and uh, the COM3D does read now uh, the first clip as layer 1 as you can see in the Avil monitor here and the second clip as layer 2. But what we have to do is actually add a layer. So I'm gonna go to my layer tab and click add layer and now you can see there I've got layer 1 and layer 2 as soon as I click layer 1 we see the outline of where layer 1 is placed layer 2 is on top of layer 1 so that's why we're not seeing it but if I change the Z position and take it just behind just as a comp3d um, environment would do it will be placed uh, behind so that is uh, one thing you have to take into account next thing obviously is as we did before any selection and movement that we do we could do it with control shift and alt so that is something that we could do and now if you have auto select um, activated at the bottom you'll be able to move around and select the different layers that you want to work with and remember all the information that you have here in the parameters panel should be found in the Evil tree and whatever is layer 1 in the parameters panel should be correctly labeled in the Evil tree okay so that is a basic operation of the COM3D